Okay, we got some weather to talk about, everybody. Uh, well, we've always got weather to talk about. Uh, the, the bulk of the uh, real consequential action, that is out of here at this point. But uh, the ground is white, and uh, we got a decent amount of snow laid down, particularly from, oh, around, say, that Kent County, um, what is it, Allegan County line and northward. Further southward, you did get some light accumulations, but to the bottom line is this was the first widespread accumulating system snow of the year, and it took a long time, took a long time. We're almost into January on Friday, folks, and the long-range forecast is actually, it, it's not very cold, as you'll see, but, uh, you know, as I mentioned in a couple segments behind me, uh, when you see these, these outlooks for the next week or two, and we've got these blue, uh, I should say red colors and orange colors, you know, it looks really mild and we are going to be above normal. It's still cold enough this time of year, even when you're above normal. It can still be cold enough at times where, you know, given the right setup, these systems come through. You could get some accumulating snow or uh, even some ice around and uh, perhaps one of those occasions would be on Friday. There's the look into downtown Grand Rapids. The roadways, uh, you know, they're they're in much better shape than they were earlier today. I don't know that I want to say they're uh, in great shape because it gives you the implication that, uh, you know, just go out there and drive as you normally would. And they're doing well, but uh, they're damp and these temperatures, they're dropping into the lower 30s at this point. So certainly some some black ice patches could be forming as we go forth, particularly as we get down into the 20s. You know, the freezing mark is 32, of course, but when you start to go several degrees below the freezing mark, that's when things begin to freeze up uh, more so in a way that could become treacherous, depending on how well certain roads have been treated. So keep that in mind. Mostly cloudy skies overnight tonight into tomorrow. There is some chance we could have uh, some breaks around the region for sunshine, but the look on the models is certainly uh, a mostly cloudy one, I would think, for tomorrow. But we are dry. And then on Friday, more wintry weather. The timing of this system looking to get held back a little bit. So I'm thinking maybe mid-afternoon and beyond. That's when we look out for a wintry mixture and even maybe even the tendency for more snow now versus wintry mix or uh, even rainfall, perhaps a wintry mix initially that changes over to snow won't be a major snowstorm, but you know, on the table right now, if you take a consensus of information, there, there could be a stripe, a rather narrow stripe of say a couple inches or so. We're going to keep tabs on that as we go forward. Temperatures running in the lower 30s. It does get colder just out to the northwest, so uh, not dramatically colder, but you do see there are some mid 20s here over Wisconsin, and that air mass is filtering in our direction. And as the colder air comes over Lake Michigan this evening and overnight, there can be some scattered flurries, maybe at worst a very rare light snow shower for somebody tied particularly closer to the lake shore. So uh, could there be somebody out there tonight that picks up like a very light film of a dusting? It's conceivable but nothing more than that. And I'm not looking for any travel issues here into tomorrow morning. Look at the temperatures, though, as we go for 32 and 32. We got average highs. That's the average for tomorrow, by the way, folks. We'll be there Thursday and Friday behind this system Friday. Kind of interesting. A lot of times when low pressure goes by, you get a dump of some cooler air or colder air. But uh, we should actually get a bit of sunshine on Saturday, and that'll take us into the mid-30s. We'll be in that vicinity Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Right now, it doesn't look like there's any big systems out there. There's a couple of clippers passing off to our north. If uh, you know one of those tends to come further southward, there could be a snow shower that we've got to add in there, a rain shower into the midweek period. As it stands right now, actually, later Wednesday to Thursday, there is an opportunity for just that. So we'll keep tabs on it. The, the look on the uh, Climate Prediction Center chart, though, continues to be a Above normal. So when you've got temps well into the 30s to around 40 degrees and you're in that first week of January, you're doing all right because highs can be in the single digits or teens this time of year if you've got the correct setup with that, uh, that discharge from Canada. But we do not. The precipitation from yesterday evening, rain, snow, sleet, freezing rain, whatever we were getting, uh, that is out of here. But again, some colder air coming over Lake Michigan could produce some scattered lake effect, lake enhanced type flurries here later on tonight. This swirl over Mexico. And if you look closely, you can see it. There is a circulation there. It's going to be lifting across Texas, bringing up a lot of Gulf of Mexico moisture with this next system. Here's the system from yesterday. It's really an area of a rather weak low pressure that came through the actual low. And that's the reason why we trended colder with the profiles in terms of uh, several days ago. It looked like more rain. Then it transitioned to more snow, which of course we got. That system worked off to the east. There's a front trailing south from it. 
kind of going stationary over the next 24 to 36 hours. And then this low pressure rides up along that front. And here comes this big shield of precipitation running into marginally cold enough air. It does look like it's going to be cold enough that we will deal with a wintry mix kind of transitioning to snow. That's the latest indication because low pressure moving a little bit further southward. So we're going to be on that northwest flank where probably the, the air mass is going to be cooler than the models are suggesting, I would think, with a track like that. So we got to look out for a wintry mix transitioning to some snow. Not a major winter storm, but enough to cause some problems, definitely. And we'll keep tabs on it. But behind it, as I said, Annie, uh, not, too, uh, not too chilly early next week. All right, I'll take that, Anthony. Thanks.